Oh, from Hollywood blockbuster to Broadway smash hit, Moulin Rouge the musical is the hottest ticket in town. Yeah, featuring an all-star cast and incredible pop hits from Whitney Houston to Lady Gaga. This is one show not to be missed, and here to tell us all about it is Tony-winning actress Karen Olivo. Welcome, Karen. Welcome. Thank you for having me, guys. I mean, this show is over the top, amazing. <laughs> I loved it. Congrats, because it is so, it's so successful already. Thanks. You know, for for the fa for fans who have have seen the movie, or maybe for those who have never experienced the movie, what can you expect when you come to the show? An immersive experience. We've structured the show so that once it begins, we don't let go of you until we've decided it's over. For I you. like yes, that. Yes, yes. I like it you keeps making going. that decision for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, the musical is a big hit. People cannot get enough of this score. And you all also have a cast album out, right? We do. We just released it a couple of weeks ago. What does it feel like belting out these songs from Lady Gaga, Beyonce, kind of Pink, Adele, Carrie, Carrie, Katy Perry? I mean, everyone sings these songs in the car and in the shower. Yes. And I, I get to do it with like the most incredible sound system and the most incredible mu musician. So I'm really the luckiest out of everyone. Have any of yeah. these ladies whose music that you're singing come to the show? And if they did, how would you feel? I wouldn't want to know. Really? No. I think, no. You no, know, I'm such a huge <laughs> fan right. of most of these women. I would just want them to um, enjoy it and. Quietly in the balcony. <laughs> yes, yes. Afterwards, it's fine. Right. Yes, <laughs> it's I'd love to done. meet them afterwards, but. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It would be too much pressure for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that. Well, you know, it's it's not just a musical. Like you, like we said, it's it's more of an experience to be there. But I, and I feel like um, the set, the stage, everything is so. I mean, like, for you as the actress, in this in this play how much is the set a role a big play a role in this show well Derek McLean I knew I was gonna spit that out yeah, eventually our, <laughs> our set designer is incredible he's created this world that once you step inside the walls of the Moulin Rouge you are transported as well as an actor so it makes my job so much easier yeah there's not a surface that I can look at that doesn't remind me of where I am yes you know? it's all around you when yeah. you're in there well, you're a fan of the movie, like so many of us. Um, but this time around, in this production, Satine, the character that you play, is more empowered. A bit. Is. How is she different from what we've seen? You know, I think that she still has the same vulnerability that Nicole Kidman beautifully brought to the screen. But this, uh, this version of Satine is more uh, about her family and keeping the doors open of the Moulin Rouge so that they have a, f a home. Yeah. Um, and I think that she, rather than wanting to leave in the movie, she wants to leave to become an actress. Yeah. This Satine wants to stay and keep her family together at all costs. So that's the biggest difference, I think. Yeah. And speaking of Nicole Kidman, I know celebrities have come to the show. You said you don't want to know when they're there. But Rebel Wilson has seen it four times, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. And Nicole Hysterical. Kidman came to the show. So she did. what was that experience oh, there like? She was you. so gorgeous and lovely and kind. And the first thing she said to me was, how do you do the coughing? <laughs> Because, oh, you know, yes. it's yes. horrible for a singer. And, yes. I, you know, I'm dying of consumption the entire right. show. So uh, we had a little conversation about that. And then her husband actually said the same exact thing. They oh, were just both, Keith Urban. Yeah, right? he was, yeah. they're both singers. So they <laughs> right, were like, yeah. how do you do that? And yeah. I was like, I cough. And yeah. they're like, really? And I was like, yeah, I have to do it because you guys are two feet from me. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you know that they were there no. beforehand? <laughs> okay. That's why it went off without a hitch. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So you don't like, ever don't spot people know. then. I like to just do the show. Yeah. I like to just do the work and then afterwards become a regular civilian. Yes. <laughs> so we've got to talk about something else that you're doing uh, for one night only. Oh, right. Um, yes. You're reprising the role in Brooklyn the Musical. What can right. you tell us about it? So that was the first Broadway show that I I ever got to originate a role and I am one of five people in a show that is um, incredibly eclectic it's it was way before its time before yeah. American Idol came out we were already doing that on really stage. yeah so it's it's a singing competition between two women from two different boroughs mm. uh, that becomes nationwide yeah so awesome. it's pretty incredible That's and awesome. Awesome. yeah I'm so I'm so excited to be able to go back and yeah do it. And well, just one night, huh? One night. That's it. And I got another job. Guys. I know. <laughs> I know. And, and I, I feel you know you've done other things, Hamilton in the Heights. Um, but yeah. this show is a three-hour show too. It feels like a beast. Are you holding up okay? Are you tired? Yeah, you know that's all I do. I train to get back on the stage nightly. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's well, what you do, right? It's yeah. working for you. It is what it is. You're amazing oh, in this so show. Kind. So I can't thank wait you so to much. see it. I'm going very soon. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, you, you can catch Karen and.
featuring Moulin Rouge the musical playing now at the Al Hirschfeld Theater. For tickets and more info, visit MoulinRougeMusical.com. I Thanks love that so she's much. not nervous that I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know when you're coming either. <laughs>